Okay, the title of this video is The Miracle of Choosing This Day Whom You Will Serve. Okay, this is so cool. Okay, because Jesus asks that of you every single day. But this is what's so amazing about it is divine providence. You say, how, you know, is, is, how, is this going to work? And it's like, yes, it is going to work. Okay. Jesus calls you to live today. Okay. And to not think about tomorrow. It's like, think, think of today as a basketball game where the clock starts the moment you wake up and the moment, you know, You've, your day is done, you know, God, you know, settles you and you feel settled in your spirit. Okay, yep, yeah, that, that is it. And I'm ready to bed down with Father. Um, then that's like the end of the basketball game. Okay. But um, if you simply take what you have, okay, in your life and do your best, okay, to seek and serve the Lord today, then He will continually provide for you all the days of your life because He is the owner and controller of the universe. This is a concept that everyone needs to grasp. That Jesus is not uh, a religion, okay? And he's not, um, he's not someone that's incapable of providing for you from unexpected sources and all the rest of it. Um, I, it's like J Jesus is the possessor of everything in the universe. He, he owns it all together with the whole trinity. And when you come to that realization and you simply decide to try your best to please Jesus today, please the Father, please the Holy Ghost, uh, spend your quiet time in silence waiting for their guidance, their uh, leading for your day, you will get the leading. And as you follow it as graciously as you can, you will also be provided for your day. And lo and behold, you've all of a sudden entered into this truth that the triune God, who owns everything and everyone, and every atom that exists, and every speck of providence that there is, provides for you when you make it your choice to, to try your best in whatever ways you humbly can to glorify their names, okay, on planet Earth somehow today, okay? God loves to be thought about. He loves to be talked about. He loves for his name, okay, and his character and his word to be spread okay and he loves to be known more by you and every single human on earth okay so if somehow you you gear your way you you make your day about that, um, your provision is always there. And um, and it, it all comes down to um, hearing God's personal voice. Is, isn't it amazing? Like, one of my favorite verses in the Bible is that nothing is impossible for God. Nothing so cool so then it's just like oh okay dad that's amazing so what do you want to do today <laughs> and um 
he will let you know. And, um... It's, it's, it is so cool, and this is where huge amounts of peace, okay, fill the Christian life, okay, because God is in control. Every um, single problem, if you will, on this little planet, the Bible says that the earth is God's footstool. That's how big he is. Every single tiny little problem on this planet of any sort, your life, uh, the world, that you can think about is as nothing to Almighty God. So, you enter into this realm of incredible peace and this realm of oh silent worship where where you where you actually do all of a sudden realize that it's much more about you knowing the lord and reverently worshiping him than you trying to pull a martha gag you know and running around in the kitchen like the story of Mary and Martha worshiping and serving. I mean, he is all powerful God. Okay. Um, I am much more of the persuasion at this point uh, that be yourself. Like, be your most true, honest self all day and all night. And don't try and do something unless God actually tells you to do it, you know? Um, wow. I think I might wait on him in silent prayer right now, because um, that's honestly the most satisfying thing there is. And um, God is taking care of the whole world's relationship with him, as bad or non-existent as it might be for many of them right now. The Bible says no one can come to Jesus except God the Father draw them. Okay, So, God is in charge. We are worshipers, okay? Like the angels, day and night, holy, holy, holy. And um, if you think the world has problems, not really. Not, not compared to how big God is. So, I would say get silent. Enjoy his presence. Worship him. Listen, okay? And um, he will speak. <laughs> and you'll just be like, oh, God is in charge of the whole world. <laughs> Calm down, people and get into his presence, <laughs> you know, through silent waiting time. <laughs> Pretty awesome.